I hope we're lit. <clears throat> Who was a my get to family? It's your boy Lane today. Step into my life. You feel me? Um, look, I'm not gonna hold you. So I was, um, you know, I'm thinking of different topics and different um, video ideas. So the previous video, boot camp experience. I don't even remember the guy's name, but shout out to you. Um, he was asking about the test. Like, is it every two weeks or every month or how exactly? Um, do the test play out? So boom. I have the certain tests that are not not just tests, but certain events, right? So boom. Um, week one, you have the swimming test, and I already explained that in the previous video. Um, week two, okay. So like, there's a PI, a personal inspection. It's not necessarily a test. I guess you could call it a test. Then there's a DMI. I forgot what it stands for. But a DMI, um, they have two different things because you're gonna be in your division, in your your compartment, your room. And uh, they have on two different sides within your division, there's gonna be a fold and stow, and then there's gonna be a rack makeup. So boom, a fold and stow is like the chief or petty officer is gonna go in your rack, or not go in your rack, but like they give you a certain amount of time, they're gonna uh, tell your RPOC, you know, you have a certain amount of minutes. And when you go in there, your chief is gonna uh, prepare you for it. But long story short, you gotta do these certain tasks, like you gotta take everything, not everything, but like I believe your shirt, your towel, your turtleneck, um, and you got, it's just certain things you gotta do, bro. Like, I'm gonna go in depth of certain things, cause I, damn, hold on, let me actually get my uh, notebook, man. This is like, anybody who knows me who do my videos, I literally do this in the spur of the moment, so hold on, hold on. I know this is so awkward. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on I got it. This is literally like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm messing up heavy. I'm not gonna hold you. Hold on, hold on. Let me try to find it. Okay, boom. So phone is though. You gotta take your notebook, put it in your back pocket. Um, you gotta, you know, dress yourself off. Uh, make sure you're aligned on the tow line. Uh, you gotta take one pair of NWUs, you know, your green, that green the uniform, the blouse, the shirt, the trousers, the pants, two pairs of skivvies, two uh, brown shirts, one towel, a turtleneck. You gotta have everything inside out. And then you can't really see it, but like on your rack, you gotta lay it out a certain way and they cannot touch against the uh, racks, like the inside of the rack, like it has to be centered. And like, you can get a hit. You, if you get three hits like baseball, you're out. You know what I'm saying? They have a FFI, a failure to follow instructions. And when I was there, I was told that could mean automatic, automatic, ugh, automatic fail. But apparently, it's not. I don't know. Anytime I hear FFI, that's not a good sign, though. So boom. And then um, they give you a certain amount of time to do that. And then, like, say, once you do do that. Boom, they check everybody, make sure everything's squared away. Then they make sure that you have everything folded. Um, they give you more time to fold everything, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then the rack makeup, that's basically, you take everything off your rack and then they give you time to like fold everything. Make sure you got the uh, proper uh, 45 degree angle with the sheets. Make sure everything is squared away. I believe that's how it is. Mind you, I didn't really do rack makeup. I did the fold and stuff. So that's the DMI. PI, you have three. So you have one with your NWUs, your Green Outfit, your NSUs, your peanut butters. Like the brown shirt, um, black pants, whatever, whatever. And then uh, you have it, well right now, I guess if you go, it'll be in your dress whites. Cause the, around the time that I went, it was in our dress blues. Um, but dress whites, that's, you know, seasonal, like during the summer type stuff. So boom, you know, make sure, like if you do it in your NWUs, 
you gotta have all your buttons. They'll tell you how to do it. But basically you gotta make sure you're you're on your point you are on point with your outfit. And then they'll have y'all all against the toe line and they're gonna ask you about your chain of command or your general orders. You just gotta make sure that's why they tell you to study everything because say if you miss a question that just only costs a point but say if you miss a button anything can be inspected and if you are not on your stuff it's like you're gonna have to fail you're gonna have to do it again and if i think you fail again it's like you can get as mode so just as long as you're on your stuff then cool but boom um let me see i hope i'm explaining this properly like i said this is spur in the moment i mean I'm about to leave in a minute, so I was like, let me just try to do a video, get a video in. So boom, week two, we did the PI, DMI, uh, we did the computer test. And the computer test, like, you'll you'll have classes in boot camp, and um, throughout those couple weeks, they'll like give you certain uh, classes, presentation points, power. I said presentation points, powerpoints. Got to take notes or. They'll have the book. Might as well pull out the book too, right? Hold on. They give you this book. They give you this book. This is the United States Navy basic military training recruit training guide. Um, they give you literally like notes to like fill in and then like you gotta uh, get these certain answers and stuff because that leads on to the test. And literally the test is word for word. Like everything that you have in this test, because I, I think it's only two. Yes, yeah, two. So boom, like say for instance, this one on some random stuff. Now obviously by the time you get yours, it's gonna be updated. And like, bro, like there's certain ones that are like strictly on the test. Word for word, bro. As long as you have the right answers, you're good. So boom. You got the computer test, PI, DMI for week two. Um, and then for, I'm trying to think. Okay, so in total you have three physical tests, two computer tests, I believe three PIs. You only have one DMI. Um, Cause when you get there during P days, they're gonna give you your, your hard card or your hardcover, I forgot what it's called. Um, but basically your hard card is gonna have the front page, you're gonna, it's gonna have your weight, um, just all your information, but then it's gonna have like the certain events that you need stamped, and it's gonna show everything that you gotta do, like battle stations, Marlin Spike, firefighting, whatever, whatever. So you're gonna, you're gonna know. Um, I don't think they're gonna, they can't necessarily tell you what comes up, but yeah, week two, PI, DMI, computer tests. Um, week three for us was the Marling Spike. Week four, we had our second RDC assessment. The very first RDC assessment was like later on in the week of P days, just to see where you're at, where you stand. Um, you're gonna have firefighting drills, military drills, or marching drills. Um, yeah, no, week five, There's an, that's your second PI. Um, my bad, someone text me. Um, week six for us was a line handling assessment and our firefighting assessment. And we had our last computer test. So the line handling, uh, you're gonna learn a little bit of it for Marlin Spike as well. It's like, there's certain teams, different groups. You're gonna have your line handlers, like the people that literally wrap the uh, the rope against the bollard, I believe. And then you're gonna have bridge, fantail, folksel, boats, people who are gonna communicate the whole process to basically take off the ropes when y'all are um, going ashore and when you are coming to port, making sure everything's squared away and wrapping the uh, ropes on the bollards. So. You're gonna learn everything, man. But, um, yeah, let me see. Oh, shoot. There we go. Uh, week eight is gonna be your last PI. That's the ones in your dress whites. OPFA, that's the very last um, um, physical test. 
Um, yeah, so in total, let me see how many tests you have. Um, like I said, you have three physical tests. The swimming test, if you pass the first original one, if you fail it, you just gotta keep going back. And it sucks because you gotta walk all the way over there, walk all the way back. So you don't wanna fail because then you look like a goofy if you fail and you gotta walk all the way back just to do it again, you know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't matter. As long as you pass, you pass. Like, get it done, you know? Like, some people really can't swim. So it is what it is, man. You definitely, I would advise you to obviously get some lessons in. They teach you when you're there if you do fail it, but like, say if you fail it, you can only do backstrokes, elementary backstrokes, like, how they, bro, I don't like how they have it set up, but it's all good. Um, two computer tests, three PIs, one DMI, and the, in the, my last video, I said they got a static, and that's when they just go and completely check your rack to see if you have everything squared away. So that just, you just gotta be on point. Um, yeah, got the Marlin Spike, that was cool. You gotta do that once. Um, yeah, I believe that's it. This is gonna be a short video, just to the test, what to expect for there. Um, like I said, if you have any other questions, definitely keep me posted, man. I'll definitely give you information. Um, I'm willing to tell you anything, everything, except battle stations. Can't really go in depth about that. But um, I have story times too, as far as like some uh, <laughs> some marching drills. Sometimes when we go out there, some things will go down. That's funny. Uh, shoot, what else, man? I'll tell you, there's a few stories I could tell. Like there will be times when, <laughs> you know, during taps, it's like 2200. <laughs> And like, that's only you got to basically go to sleep or when you're supposed to be in your rack. Yo, we will have like this thing called the council, council meetings. And like, we'll be at like, just mind you, they replicate it as if it's an actual ship. So when it's uh, late at night, nighttime, they turn up the lights, but they leave these red lights on. So the room is just all like just red and dark and red. And then uh, we would, a few people in the uh, council meetings will have our hoodies on. <laughs> and like, we'll just talk about how we what we feel about a uh, boot camp or just we'll just stay up just you know bull crap just talk about random stuff um but no like and then there's watches too i gotta tell you so much you got watches and then you got uh people like certain rdcs that are not us like you got the rovers and then you got people who come in and they'll check the uh the deck log because you it's so much i gotta tell y'all but no basically there'll be times when it's late at night like 11 o'clock at night uh and they'll come in and we're supposed to be in a rack but people be just all still up and we'll be scattering like roaches trying to <laughs> you know act as if we're sleeping when the rovers come in the ods uh officer of the deck man it's just a lot of stories to tell you but yeah that's pretty much it for the test though i hope i answer your questions if you want me to go in depth i can just really uh be specific with certain questions and i got you i'll try my best to the best of my capability to make sure your questions get answered but like i said i gotta go so i love y'all i hope this was informative um i'm here to help man it's your boy Lane today you stepping into my life stay blessed stay gifted i wish nothing but blessings and prosperity to the screen for real take care of yourself man peace